Hi, this is Charles at Connor Pictures. In this episode, we're going to talk about shutter speed. Or better yet, what is shutter speed? We've all heard that sound before, so stay tuned. This might help you take some better pictures. <laughs> All right, so what is shutter speed? Well, first off, we need to find out what a shutter is. Now, every camera has a shutter. Now, this shutter is a protective shield that basically lies somewhere in between the lens of the camera and the sensor or the film of the camera. All right, so the shutter speed has two main functions. Now, the first one is that it sets the amount of time that it stays open to allow light to hit the film or the sensor. And the second is that it affects the amount of movement that is rendered in the photograph. Now the first one is actually shutter speed. The amount of time that that shutter stays open to allow light to hit the sensor is the shutter speed. And it can be either one whole second, all the way up to 30 seconds, or it can be a fraction of a second, from 20th of a second all the way to like 8 thousandths of a second. All right, now in this demonstration, I'm gonna show you exactly how changing your shutter speed from a fast shutter speed to a slow shutter speed can actually change the exposure in your film. Now I'm pointing at my shutter speed, which is reading at 1 80th of a second. And I randomly chose an f-stop of f4, and then I randomly chose an ISO or film speed of 400. All right, now what we're looking at right here is the exposure meter or the through the lens light meter. Um, now theoretically, everything that, if that needle or the dial is centered in the middle there, that everything is properly exposed. Now we're going to be focusing and in, in, in taking a picture of this seashell that is on the countertop here. And I am going to run through a range of shutter speeds by changing the dial here that I'm pointing at. That's my shutter speed dial. And I'm going to ramp up the shutter speed and then slow the shutter speed down. And you can see through the LCD, actually as I'm lowering the shutter speed now to a slower shutter speed, the photograph at that film speed of 400 is becoming more and more overexposed. You can tell there on the through the lens light meter. All right, so now I'm going to dial up the shutter speed and I'm gonna put it at 1 1 60th of a second. And as you can tell, if you look at the LCD screen that the image is becoming a lot more dark and the through the lens light meter is showing that it is very underexposed. And just so you know, there is no right or wrong shutter speed to use. In most cases, the photographer is going to choose to have a properly exposed photograph. But sometimes you may need a little underexposed or a little overexposed photo. It just depends on what you're trying to accomplish with your work. All right, so now that we've talked about how shutter speed can have an effect on the exposure in a photograph, I'm going to show you how the shutter speed also has an effect with movement within a photograph. All right, so to demonstrate what happens to movement with a fast shutter speed, there's a few things I had to make adjustments with. One, because of the time of day this was shot, I had to bump my ISO all the way up to 2000, or my film speed. I left my aperture at f4, and that gave me a shutter speed of 1 640th of a second. So let's take a look at this clip and see how that affected the movement. All right, so let's look at what happened. Wow, look at that. It stopped me right in the middle of my tracks. I am pin sharp, there is no blur or any of that sort. All right, so now to demonstrate what happens to movement with a slower shutter speed, once again, a few things have to be adjusted. Because of the time of day that I shot this, I had to drop my ISO all the way down to 100 for my film speed. I left my aperture at f4, and then that gave me a shutter speed of 1 25th of a second. So let's take a look at this clip and see how that affected the movement. All right, so what happened? Well, it still stopped me in the middle of time there, but I'm blurred. Now, in most cases, I will say a photographer is going to want to have a pin sharp photograph, but that's not always the case. Sometimes motion blur is what's required. Like I said, it depends on what the photographer is trying to accomplish within his work. All right, so I hope this episode has helped you understand a little bit more about what shutter speed is and giving you the skills that you need to add a little bit more quality to your work. Please like and subscribe, make real to real, and I will see you soon. Oh!